definitely. Do the Grashof's law for for bar linkage. The Grashof law is very simple. What it says for a planar linkage, the sum of the shortest and the longest links, the length of the links, cannot be greater than the sum of the remaining links if there is to be continuous, meaning full circular motion, relative continuous relative ro rotation between two members. And we'll see four simple types of four bar linkages. Those are crank rocker, double rocker, drag link or double crank, and parallelogram. What are those? And you see the conditions for those. We're going to discuss those in a little bit. So the first one is the crank rocker. A crank that can rotate a full 360 degree, full rotation, those are called crank. If it doesn't rotate full 360 degree and limited range of angle movement, then it is called a rocker. Then a crank rocker would be that converts a fully circular motion of a link A into a rocking motion or a reciprocating arc motion of link C. So link A rotates 360 degree, that's a crank, and C here can only rotate a limited range, that's a rocker. And if we apply, remember the uh, Grashof's law, the sum of the longest and shortest link, which here A is the shortest and B is the longest, the sum of them has to be less than or equal to, so in, the, in this case, less than the other length. So this is the law for this um, crank rocker to have continuous motion. Okay, let's move to the next one. Next type is the double rocker. Double rocker means that none of the arm will have, the input and, out, input and output will not have a 360 degree rotation, but a certain limit of rotation. That's why you have double rocker. And you see here, it can rotate a certain degree, and this one can also rotate a certain degree. And that's why this is a double rocker. Again, if you apply the Grashof's law, then uh, if C is the longest and B is the shortest, for the double rocker, the coupler is always the shortest. And if you sum the length of B and C, it will be always shorter than the other two arm. Again, I put it in the dot mark because uh, we don't need a physical frame here, but you know the length of the fixed point. That is the length of the frame, the fourth bar of the four bar linkage. Okay, so we finished two. Let's move to our third um, type of four bar linkage, which is we can call drag link or double crank, meaning input and output can have a crank. 360 degree rotation. So a drag link converts one fully circular, that means continuous motion, of link A into another fully circular motion of link C with a different radius. Many vehicles use this linkage in their steering. Again, if we apply the, um, the Grashof's law, um, if C is the longest uh, link, and D is the shortest link um, for a double crank to happen. This D has to be the shortest. Um, then some of the A and B or uh, C and D, longest and the shortest, is less than the uh, other, some of the other arm length. We have one more type Then we're going to study in this lab, which is the parallelogram. Um, in a parallelogram, what it does is that, you know, by name, parallelogram, the armed, two arms are the same, opposite arms are the same or equal in length. So the parallelogram duplicates a fully circular motion of a link, of link A with link C. And for, um, again, it is a continuous 360 degree. And it does, it just duplicates what's happening at A. The same scenario will be duplicated at uh, C. For this to happen, the sum of the arm A and B 
will be equal to C and D, or you can say sum of C and D will be equal to sum of A and B.